Hey everybody, Glenn here. Uh, I know the road traffic is pretty noisy here, so uh, please put up with that. And uh, yeah, so for, uh, I'd like to hammer on a project, something that I need. And uh, what that is, is a uh, box wrench. You want to be able to tighten hex nuts. And, you know, I can easily go to a hardware store and buy a, a box wrench or a crescent wrench, you know, cheap enough. Whereas the good ones, cost, you know, quality box and crescent wrenches and, and uh, mechanic tools do cost quite a bit of money. But, uh, you know, you could pick something up for cheap that would serve my purpose. But, you know, I figure I'm a blacksmith, so what the heck, might as well make it. And, you know, this, I, you know, this way I can save money and also uh, gain a little bit more experience. So, uh, basically, my idea is this, is that, uh, get my pen. You know, what I would like to do is I'll just take a piece... I have a piece of medium carbon uh, round stock that's maybe about a, a half inch. And what I was thinking is, is I'm going to flatten the one end a little bit, you know, just flatten that out a little bit on one end here. And then I'm going to punch and drift a hole to a suitable size. And then I'm going to insert uh, the, uh, the nut or the bolt, but probably the bolt because I've, I've tried this once. And what happens is, is the nut will uh will deform once it gets picks up too much heat it's going to deform whereas the bolt uh won't deform so easily because obviously the center is solid uh but even better is if you have a piece of hex stock to size it to for exactly the size of nut or bolt that you want to to use uh this wrench for so anyway i'll drift this to a size that's appropriate and then i'll insert uh, a bolt head in there and then hammer around it, you know, from each side, and you know, to create to create a, uh, a hex shape like such, you know. And then let's let's assume this is like this, and a little expanded view. So yeah, basically a very simple box wrench. So uh, and I think it'll serve the purpose. The medium carbon steel might not be the best for this, but for for me it'll work. Uh, maybe a, a different alloy steel, uh, stainless steel, or high carbon steel would probably be better for this type of a tool. So, but then, uh, other than this style, I have another uh, idea in mind that I might try in this video. Or maybe I'll just do it, or maybe I'll do both. We'll see how it goes. Uh, and that would be like this. I have a, uh, I have, uh, also I think it's medium carbon, or maybe it's stainless steel, I have to check piece, a longer piece of, uh, uh, I think it's about uh, maybe seven or eight millimeter round. So, you know, imagine I have this longer piece like such, and what I'm going to do is bend it. Hope you can see this. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll bend it in half like that. And then what I'm going to do is squeeze the sides in like such. Where it's like like that, you know, squeeze these ends in on it until this leaves me enough material, like I said, where I can insert the uh, the hex bolt uh, in or the hex stock you have to to or whatever. It could even be for a square. Some very old n nuts and bolts are square, so this is you know this would be a good job, you know, a traditional looking tool for a traditional looking nut and bolt. And in order to strengthen, you know, to join this and strengthen it up, then I'm going to twist it together here you know, to tighten that up, and then again, and then form it around, you know, the hex shape, like such, you know, giving you a little bit of an expanded view here, that, you know, so it'll be like twisted, then come out like that, so, you know, something like that, yeah, so we'll see how it works, we'll see if I'm able to, to pull this off and see how, you know, it works, I'm sure it will, it's a very basic tool, and one, and reason I would like to try this Another reason is because I need a wrench for my uh, for my uh, propane tank, and the, the crescent wrench that I have is fine. But the uh, where the valve is, the guards on these tanks are always in a weird. They're always in different positions. They weld them on, and sometimes skewed a little this way or a little that way. And sometimes, depending on where the the nut is, you can't get your wrench in enough to get some leverage. So I'd like to make a, a longer wrench for that so I can get a little extra leverage when I don't have much space and I would like to make it in this style because you know I could 
I could fold this back like this and then weld it together, not twist it. But I don't like to weld in my little forge. It's not enjoyable for me. I like to try to find different ways to accomplish that uh, task. Uh, if I was using a coal forge, yeah, no problem. So what I would like to do then is once I twist it together, and this I'll do in another video for a, it's a larger size, uh, a larger size nut on the uh, for the uh, propane tank. Is I'll split it somewhere in here, and then once I split that, open it up, you know, and then open it up like such, maybe where it, you flatten it out a little bit, you know, and now it's you know it's twisted together open it up and then subsequently you know join it join it back together like this you big dummy go buy a wrench uh, sorry for that interruption i was using my phone to film this and also I've, i'm up very close because i uh, i switch my camera i use it in a reversed way uh, in order to film and you can't zoom in or out in this direction and the reason i'm doing that is because of the traffic and outside is so loud and the microphone is on this side if i put it the other way where it's much better to film and the quality is better, uh, the, the audio quality is just terrible. So just for when I'm explaining like this. So yeah, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll call my wife back a little bit later. Yeah, so, and anyway, so my idea then is to make a crescent wrench in this twisted kind of a style. But for, you know, first for this video, like I said, I'm gonna try, uh, you know, one, this style or the solid bar style that I just talked about. And we'll see how it goes. And one other thing is I want to say, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Steve Preston. Uh, I wanted to thank you for the donation to the channel. You know, it, it uh, helps keep things going. You know, over here it's just, you know, another day, another dollar kind of an operation. So, you know, a few extra dollars, it really helps. And, you know, maybe that's what I should uh, call this uh, video channel. You know, video productions is, you know, another day, another dollar video productions. So, yeah, Steve, thanks very much. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Here's uh, another example of a simple tool that I made uh, just to suit a quick purpose that I needed. Um, I needed a, uh, a, a socket wrench. You know, I was working on my motor scooter that, that bent very quickly at a 90 degree angle and then had enough length for leverage in a, in a very small spot. And so I just, uh, you know, just heat it heated this end, squared it up a bit, and then, you know, uh, pounded that into a, a socket. So that works really well. You know, this actually is really nice. And, you know, it works, it serves the purpose. You know, it's not maybe a professional tool, but, you know, being a blacksmith, you can alter stuff just like this. And, you know, that can really, uh, really be a time saver and a money saver too. a bolt head to size these not a nut I tried it with a nut and the nut once heated just deforms very easily so kind of a waste of time uh, best of all is if you had some hex stock that was exactly the size that you wanted for the nut or bolt that you were trying to make the wrench for that would just be perfect you know you could even make a, 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 a drift with that kind of a hex stock and that would work really excellent I think
I'm just marking here to determine how much of an opening I need for the uh, to accommodate the bolt head. The opening was just a little too much, so I just wanted to give it another couple of twists. thoughts about these you know I just touched this one with a file a little bit just to make it uh, fit the uh, this size bolt a little bit better it was just I guess when it's hot you know um, as opposed to cool the sizing is just a little different so now it fits really well and uh, yeah I, I just think that uh, you know so far as these if you wanted to uh, custom make these and you wanted to uh, put a bend in them an offset or you know a 90 degree bend or whatever you know that'd be great yeah, this, you know, this one actually feels really good. I think that this would work perfectly, um, you know, being that it's flattened this way and you, you're putting pressure in this direction, it should be strong enough, you know, right in here should be strong enough. Be nice if this was probably a little bit thicker or if it covered more of the, of the, the side of the bolt, you know, maybe just, you know, this one just seems to be just lined up with it. If it was a little bit wider this way, maybe it'd be better, so. Yeah, and then this one here, I'm actually, I actually like, this other one better even. I think this is pretty slick and you know like I said I mean you know will how long will this work for being medium carbon? I don't know. You know but it seems pretty good. I mean I can feel it you know when I read down on this it seems like uh, it's working pretty well so and then uh, yeah you know you can round and round she goes. <laughs>
where she stops. Only Glenn moves. Oops. Yeah, so, and then, you know, let's say if it's, you know, I'm tightening this bolt and I have to reef down on it. Yeah, yeah it's pretty good. You know, loosen, tighten. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be slipping at all. So, yeah, I like that quite a bit. Yeah, so just something to think about. And then this, uh, this style here, I actually fooled around and I just made another, another one like that. You know, it just gives me an idea for some different style tools. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.